Hey guys, this is Andy Sanchez here to give you a quick tutorial over machine. Uh, I'm going to show you basically how to set up a default pattern length, how to control your metronome volume, where all that is. I'm going to teach you about groups and sounds. I'm going to tell you what these menu bars do and uh, that'll conclude this tutorial. This is just a quick intro. So jumping into it, uh, preferences under machine two, you could select preferences or do command comma on a Mac. Under general, you're gonna see metronome right here. And uh, that's where you'll be able to adjust your metronome volume is uh, simply by adjusting this bar. Okay, this is also, uh, also your signature for your uh, metronome and the count in length, which can be found by pressing shift record that's a quick uh, intro for that. Uh, under default, you'll be able to adjust your pattern length. So under pattern right here, length, you're going to want to put it to 8 or 16. Um, I don't know if anybody works in 4, but if you do, go for it, whatever's easier for you. Uh, press close. Now moving on to these menus right here. Um, actually, we're going to jump into groups and sounds first. Uh, under each group, you have available 16 sounds. So one group gives you 16 sounds to fill up. So like, let's say one shots or synthesizers, basses. You don't have to fill them all up, but uh, it helps you if, let's say, this tab, I have drums. The next tab, I have uh, synths and the next tab I have basses just to keep organized you can press a plus button or select B C or D to add new groups now moving on to this menu right here we have the projects which are projects that were either came in the machine factory library or that come in uh, expansions that we've bought. As you can see, if I click this drop down tab, I can go straight to the specific expansions and open up one of those sessions. If I select this over here, this icon, this person icon, I can go and open up one of my own sessions. So that's kind of like a shortcut. Um, so moving on, this next tab is called groups, but it's really where all the drum kits are or any groups that you've um, bought from the Native Instruments store, the expansions as in Drop Squad, Electric Vice, these are great. Uh, if you double click one, it'll open up in a new group where you have 16 individual drum sounds, for instance. All these things can be useful and uh, with machine, you're able to take full advantage of sounds like this one. And I'll show you that in the next video. But moving on to the next tab. This is sounds. You can just add to your groups. Uh, on the next one, we have instruments. So I use this one and this one the most. Under instruments, you could press that drop down tab. Since you just bought machine, you're going to have massive. You could click that and go specifically to those synths. So what we're going to do to add a new synth is press B. You maybe double click one of these guys and that'll open up as a new sound in our group. Uh, you could double click the group and name it synths if you want. So you know that under this tab are all your synths. So you can X that out and uh, go back and browse some more if you'd like. Or move on to effects. Under effects, you have a bunch of great presets uh, to add to your individual tracks, groups, you could sidechain them on an aux. Uh, this is really, really great uh, and easy to use. If you're not used to using effects, you can use one of these presets and tweak it as you go. Um, by selecting this drop down tab, is where you'll be able to find all the things you've bought, uh, all the expansions from Complete 11, uh, if you just bought that. And moving on to this last one, this is also a very useful tab. This is where you'll see snare, uh, for instance, snares, or uh, if you type in, say, kick. Uh, this is where you'll find all your one shots and be able to uh, really manipulate everything. You can even type in vocal, and you'll probably have some vocal samples you didn't even know. 
I have a ton of them. Um, I, I purchase a lot through ADSR Sounds, which I think is a really killer site for presets and vocal samples. Also, the Native Instruments uh, store is really great. That's going to conclude this session. The next session, I'm going to show you how to use one of these sounds and put it all across this keyboard, how to use the scale mode and how to use the chord mode. And that's really where it's going to get uh, interesting because I'm also going to teach you a few other things with a drum kit and really how to get down to it. Uh, thank you very much. See you next time.